let's take a look at a mesh tastic by Rabbit Labs. This is a ready to go node from Rabbit Labs. It is an eBite Eora S3 and it is pretty cool. It's very small, you can see right here. And it works really, really well. It comes with these, it, it is designed with these inset toggles. So this is the toggle for power right here. And this is the reset button right there. It has a slightly smaller than a one inch screen. I have it set up right now. Every 15 seconds, it'll switch screens. It'll go onto a new screen. It comes with this little antenna and a 3D printed case, kind of nifty. Right here, we've got the, you can see it, USB-C. You see that? USB-C connection right there. USB-C and serial right over there. USB-C and serial. And the cool thing about these mesh tastics is that they're off-grid communication. So if all power goes out, if the infrastructure goes out, these things are still good to go. And as long as you've already downloaded the app, which I have on this phone right here, the mesh tastic app, you can communicate. Now, right here, I'm on the mesh map, they call it. And these are all the nodes that this mesh tastic has seen today as we've been driving around looking for stuff. And if we go here to nodes, we can scroll through all the nodes that we've seen and get various information on them. Pretty cool. Now, the main thing really about these right now is the messaging. So if I go to messaging and I just have this, the, the default channel up and I go over here and let's type something. Come on. All right, let's see here. Send uh, just meshing around. And what we'll see, hopefully, is that this gets acknowledged. Now we can see uh, here it's saying, waiting for acknowledgement. So we're waiting for it to hit another node and then get back to us that it was received. A lot of times I find that if we're not seeing something and, and we can see right here in just a second, it'll probably say, that uh, it wasn't received. We'll give it a second. See right there, max retransmission reached. I think I have it set it on. Uh, have it set on three transmissions. A lot of times we just need to go farther outside. So if I take this guy and let's just stick him right over here, right? So now he's more outside here. Can't really see the screen anymore. That's okay. And then we take this. And we're going to try again, is what we'll say. And let's see if we get an acknowledgement. There it is, acknowledged. So, come on, come on. So when we see that acknowledged message, if we can see, when we see that acknowledged message right there, it means that the message has gone out and we're good. So here, let me just step out a little bit more out of the car, right? And we can type something else. So now I'm connected to the node via Bluetooth. So if I step away a little bit, we're still good. We're still connected, right? And let's do a test. So I'll say test, acknowledgement, A, C, K, and then I'll hit it. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we're getting, yep, and there it is, we got acknowledged. So we can see when I'm in the car, even the car itself will block the signal. So all I've got to do is come out and I'm gonna get that better signal. We can see, kind of, that the mesh-tastic is right over there. Here's my 
phone. So we've got all these nodes right here. We can look at my Bluetooth information. We've got the map and we're getting messages. Super cool. Very, very cool. So remember, if it doesn't work the first time, go outside. Sometimes you have to go outside. Let's see if that works. Sometimes you just got to go outside and then you get acknowledged. Sometimes even when you do go outside, you still don't get acknowledged. Look at that. Nothing, huh? Let's see. Oh, it looks like, looks like we might not get an acknowledgement here. Let's see what happens. Oh, let's try again. So if we hit this again. Oops. So if we, Try again. Let's see if we get acknowledged this time. Yes, we did. Look at that. We got an acknowledgement. Very cool. Not only do you have to go outside, but you just have to keep trying, right? The Mesh Tastic from Rabbit Labs is pretty cool, man. Looks like the lighting. It doesn't like the lighting more in the dark it likes the dark very cool mesh tastic by rabbit labs what a cool little device